everybody, I am a gamer mom, and today I am back with the Dreadx Collection. I hope I have a key. No, so I'm gonna be watching. <laughs> I don't have a key. I thought I had two keys. Oh, okay. Subject 1. Young, healthy. Cell de death balanced with cell growth. Delusions of consciousness forming. <clears throat> Subject 2. Past 25 years of age, mitochondrial functions increase cell death. The body has begun to die. Subject 3. <clears throat> the brain's neurotransmissions have ceased. The delusions of consciousness are forever lost. Okay, so subject 1... Subject one. Okay. Does that stay if I move it? Yes. Subject two. Subject three. I got a key. <clears throat> Yep. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> so since my daughter's here, I'm gonna do Sucker for Love, which looked adorable. Not really scary. <clears throat> okay. Yes, that one. Let's see whether or not this Teenage Cthulhu can scare me. Uh, and inadvisable quantities of tentacles. There we go. That was the other part of it. Viewer discretion is advised. Akabaka. Akabaka. Alright, play game. Eldritch Gods. Cosmic horrors, things beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. The only thing protecting all of reality from the final coalescence of insanity and terror is the fact that the Deep Ones wait dreaming. Their awakening under aligned stars heralds the end. Today, the stars are aligned. Damn it, come on already. Same day shipping my butt. I only have a half hour tops until the stars move out of position. A year ago, I saw the face of an eldritch being in my dreams. It whispered its name to me. Linita. Ever since, I've been obsessed with trying to see it again. My pointer finger blocks the light and casts a shadow. That is cool. I like that. I really wrapped up in the occult, dumped paycheck after paycheck on trinkets and spell books to no avail. I'm not the kind of person to get addicted to stuff or spend recklessly, but I just can't help myself. There's something I have to do once I see it again. Was that the door? Thank goodness. I spent way too much money on getting this for me to miss my chance. The amount of money I've lost to scammers claiming to have the real deal is a little embarrassing, but as of today, as of today, I'll have a genuine, oh no, Necronomicon. An ancient spellbook containing the dark rituals needed to contact the Elder Gods. Finally, I'll... <laughs> huh? What the heck is this? Why is it pink? Isn't it supposed to be, like, brown and bigger? It's supposed to be an ancient book or something, but this looks like it just came from an office supply store. No, please don't tell me. I scammed again. With how much money I spent this time, I thought there'd be no chance it'd be fake. Great. No way I'm getting my money back, either. The scammer is probably long gone, too. Dang it! I need a new hobby. Seriously. What a strange scam, though. You'd think they'd at least try to go for an authentic look. 
Do they really think nobody would notice that their Book of the Dead is Malibu pink? Wait. The symbol on the front embossed? Is this thing made of real leather? The pages look gilded and gold, too. And this weight. Why'd they make a knockoff out of such high-quality materials? Maybe I'll take a look inside. <clears throat> Perform the calling ritual. Where? Close. I, uh, okay. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> it's over here. Draw. Huh. Where? Where? Take. Remove. Kind of think I want that there, don't I? Get from that. Do I need that? Okay. Well, that didn't help me any. Okay, so I have all stuff. Okay, ensure all possible light has been snuffed from the room. In your room, this means draw your curtains, turn off your bedside lamp, turn off your overhead lights. Overhead lights. Okay. In the dark, light fire, red fire candles. They are for your protection. The dark is dangerous. Find and put on your ritual necklace. When all is complete, so just the ritual necklace... Okay. Uh, when all is complete, chant. Click and drag from the first letter to the end. My goodness. Anita. Oh god. It actually worked? She's here? A beacon of madness is towering over me. An omnipotent and chaotic avatar of world-ending calamity. Even with a year of preparation for this moment, I'm frozen in fear. For what purpose have you awoken me and brought about the end of reality? I can't talk. I can't even breathe. Blinding dread, choking terror, my very sanity is teetering on the precipice and looking down. No, I finally got this far. I finally have my chance. I can't perish now. D Dark One, I ask that you grant my wish. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life? No, I want a kiss. No, I want to smooch ya. Eh? What? 
<laughs> I want to smooth. Don't say it again, creep. And how are you looking directly at me without being driven mad? I'm mad with lust. Send me back. Huh? <laughs> but you just got here. What about destroying reality as I know it? I'll do it next time. Oh. Maybe when the stars realign in a thousand years or so. But I'll be long dead by then. Exactly. Hey, I went through all the trouble of finding this damn book. The least you could do is... Where'd you get that book? Huh? What, this? I bought it online. I know, I know. Funny looking Necronomicon, right? It's not a Necronomicon. No? It's not? What Necronomicon is bright pink, silly? God, she's cute. But what's with the sudden personality change? Uh, well, if it's not a Necronomicon, what is it? It's a survival guide. A survival guide? For what? For dating me. What, really? This thing? Mm-hmm. It's full of rituals that I like. Offerings, spells, and how to protect your sanity while performing them. Ooh. I struck gold. I would have paid double for this. Wait, what did she just say? Protect my sanity? I am a cosmic entity beyond comprehension, so no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. Oh. Gulp. Oh, don't make that face. I can make it worth your while, if you understand what I'm getting at. You'll let me smooch ya? If you can make it to the end, darling. But if you chicken out or go insane, I'll Ooh. end reality right then and there. <laughs> Will you spare the world if I win that kiss? No. No. You knew what you were getting into when you woke me up, right, darling? Looks like my only two options are die or die without getting a kiss. Hmm. Well, the world is going to end either way. Deal. Excellent. Let's begin the date then. What? Why don't you start with the Invoke the Depths ritual? Uh, didn't I do that one? Invoke the Depths. Do not perform this ritual alone. Snuff all light from the room, turn on your sink or shower to make the sound of moving water. <clears throat> Snuff all light from the room. Okay, when all is complete, do not look out your window from now on. Ooh. Okay, this part's kind of annoying. Home, sweet home. Are we... What did I just do? You brought the Outer Depths to us. Didn't you read the spell's name? Our connection is stronger now. Oh. The closer you get to where my true form lies dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. Will I be okay? Just focus on following the book perfectly. Oh, okay. Form metamorphosis. Do not attempt this ritual without performing the calling and invoke the death. If you see or hear something strange, it is not your imagination. Be ready. Proceed in total darkness. No lights, no candles. Ensure his image appears in no way in poster or tapestry. Wear a ceremonial robe and ritual necklace. Necklace. 
this. Robe. Alright. Have a ceremonial knife on your person. Knife. Always remember the second step on the previous page. Make sure his image appears in no way in poster or tapestry. Okay, and then complete the chant. Hello, handsome. And I thought you were cute for a human before. Now you're totally my type. Something is not right. What did you think was gonna happen, dude? Said metamorphosis. Yeah. Perform prepare offering. This ritual will sever your connection, restore your sanity, and return you to reality <clears throat> in whatever Darling, state. what are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing, huh? You were looking at nothing? Yes. Is that the truth? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Did I scare you, darling? Good. I know what page you were on. And if I see you trying to cast that spell about nothing, you won't get past the second word. Ma'am. There we go. <laughs> Illuminate the room to your comfort. Collect necessary ingredients from cold storage. gosh. Okay. That symbol. Uh, that's the one I'm on. Love it. Seems to be a shorter phrase. Make That already smells delicious, darling. What All did I need is a little make? something and it'll be perfect. Hmm. I'm going to take a short walk outside while you finish. See? Even if you know. Perform reach into oblivion. Reach into oblivion. Wear a Sony ceremonial robe and have a ritual knife. Robe. Knife. I'm sure this symbol is present. This symbol. Eyeball thing. go. Have another life form on you. Or turtle. Okay, and then chant. Oh, that's another freaking long one. Very high maintenance eldritch god. Very high maintenance. Almost done. Oh? What what happened?
You can read this. All reality is empty. If the search will complete all four pages quickly, you will be vulnerable until you finish. Do not open any blinds, windows, or doors, and turn on any lights. Snuff any existing lights, you will attract their attention. I'm sure this symbol is present nearby. The other one? Okay, let's start with a little pen. Coming and sure this prison symbol is present. Okay. Here we're too late. I'm sure there's some little present nearby. Uh, repeat this chant until you leave your safe. Perfect. Hmm. I'm going to take a short walk outside while you finish. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Do not attempt. To, I've already done those. Let the room be well lit. Wear no robes or necklaces. Have the offering on your person. All right. So what is my offering? Ah, that's my offering. Okay. Nothing else on my person. Delicious. Just perfect. I wish you could make offerings like this forever. Well, my devoted darling. There is only one last spell to perform. Pledging yourself to me! Take heart. Your pledge of devotion will be the last act of humanity for all of time. The final words ever spoken by humankind will come from your fairy mouth and echo into oblivion. Ah. The privilege is yours alone. Hmm. I may be inexperienced with human emotions, but even I know that saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Take 
all the time you need to make peace with the end. Yeah, I'm good. I'm going to take a short nap before I wake up for good. Could you hit the lights for me, darling? Thank you, my love. Okay, that part was really cute. Have a ritual knife on your person. Chant five times to go up. Killing myself, probably. Now I gotta get a smooch if I'm dead. Maybe I'm just like cutting my hand. Two. Done. Well, as ritual, you did wonderfully. <laughs> I'm afraid it's time for the dream and our date to end. That look on your face. Darling, I had a wonderful date with you. And that's because of you. So why destroy me? It... And all of reality, why not just stay here with me? That's what you're thinking, right? Oh, my sweet mortal darling. I'm not doing this out of malice. You've had good dreams before, right? Well, when you woke up, you destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you, Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? No. It just couldn't be helped <coughs> that you'd wake up eventually. Yeah. I love humans, and I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. Don't think I forgot about my promise to you. Look her up, my darling. You've earned it. Well then. This is adorable. And then there were several very cute moments and several very cute moments, which I like. However, the mechanic of the chants frustrated the heck out of me. That was Sucker for Love and the end of this video. So if you liked it, leave a like down below if you have anything to say to me go ahead and leave me a comment and like always don't forget to subscribe for more content and i will see you guys all later bye